Welcome back everyone to Sunshine Carnivores and today I'm going to be discussing with you the largest genus of carnivorous plants in the world, the Utricularia, and they are on every continent except Antarctica. And of, um, they are an extremely varied group. Some are terrestrial, like this Utricularia sandersoni, and some are epiphytes, like, like this Utricularia longifolia here. And some are even aquatic. Yes, there are aquatic carnivorous plants. And I have an aquatic one right in here. This here is... This right right here is the Utricularia inflata. Now, this this guy is native to North, North America, and if you look... I don't know if I can zoom in on it close enough, but if you look carefully... You can see see the traps, and they're very bladder-like. Trying to, but there are, but their their traps are, are are extremely small, about the size of a pinhead, and they uh, trap small creatures like of uh, protozoans, nematodes, microscopic worms, that type of thing. And because of that, their soil composition is of a uh, extremely very varied as well. Like this guy here, I uh, have him growing in peat peat moss. No, no, no per perlite mixing, just just peat moss. And this longifolia here is just is planted in of a long fibered sphagnum moss right here. The the uh, epiphytes can be planted in. And of a, in a uh, soil composition very similar to of uh, orchids, but just make sure there's nothing in the soil in the soil mi mixtures. And and they and also the the thing with a uh, Utricularia is that they like it wet, very wet. Um, the some some of the uh, terrest some some of the uh, terrestrial species they can be semi aquatic they can be growing on land and while others can be if um and some can be uh, completely underwater at times and there is a uh, another utricularia species is i gram i can't exactly it begins with the g but i cannot exactly uh if i see it i would recognize it but if um <clears throat> i cannot think of the name name of it right right now and if um, you can actually find it in some of um aquarium stores uh for of uh, fish tanks and some people may say it's hard but if um, they just don't really uh really know know the uh, the care of a carnivorous plant and some people may may not even re realize a plant is a carnivore but if um the, if uh, don't don't worry, it's not. Uh, you trick if you have large creatures in your fish fish tank, you got nothing to have, uh, worry about the uh, bl the uh, bladder wart of um, eating your eating your fish, your your small shrimp maybe, but but not stuff like uh, um, like like your fish. I think fish fry might might be a little bit too too big for them to catch, but I could 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 be wrong, because it, in the wild, tad tadpoles have been known known to get uh, captured by uh, the the bladder warts as well. <clears throat> and so, so when they're found, some some species of uh, Utricularia are of um, annuals, and they'll die. At the uh, end of one growing sea season, come back from seed, while while others are of uh, perennials and come back year after year after year. Personally, I like the uh, perennials. I'm not a huge fan of annuals. I uh, hope this covers everything. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment, like and sub subscribe. I'll see you next time.